equipment that you have to have for your cross box workout, whether you're working out at home or you're going to someone else's gym or you're going to be training somebody, is your cross box bag. So we're going to go through the cross box bag equipment that you need to take on the road. First thing you're going to consider is a good pair of shoes. I highly recommend a pair of cross training style shoes because when you start to do those lateral cuts and things that we do with boxing, you'll notice a difference compared to running shoes that are just meant to go forward and back. I like to actually use boxing shoes um, that have just a little bit of a sole on the bottom. Some people also like to use wrestling shoes, so I'm going to pack up these shoes and we'll go over another video on benefits of boxing shoes in a later video. I also have these blue ones, but today I'm feeling the neon. Socks, hugely important. Make sure that they fit your foot well so they're not sliding around. Don't forget to pack your socks. Moving on up, I definitely am going to want to pack my jump rope because if I can't get out on the road to run, I can't find some stairs, a good warm up, good cardio is definitely going to be my favorite jump rope. Next to add to your calisthenics, I always like to pack a little exercise band. It's just nice for warm ups and you get a little bit of a strength bonus, strength boost rather when you get to your strength component. Obviously you're going to want to bring a set of hand wraps or two, so don't forget your hand wraps your boxing gloves. So you gotta have the striker gear. I have these nice 14 ounce gloves that I'm gonna pack. They come in all different sorts of sizes, colors, and flavors. So we'll go over another video on boxing gloves soon. I'm gonna pack these. And then I always pack some focus mitts. So whether I'm training someone else or going to be cross training with another person, another video later on different styles of focus mitts and how you can incorporate mitts into your training or train other people. Um, a mat if you want to bring your own mat. Sometimes they'll fit in the bag, sometimes not. Other tidbits to consider, I have kind of shorter-ish hair, so for me putting my hair in a ponytail is difficult, so I tend to use a lot of headbands and do rags. A towel to wipe your sweat. Water bottle, nice and cold. Not every gym you go to is gonna have water, so make sure you pack your own. And whatever else you personally like to have when you work out. So for some people that's earbuds, your smartphone, protein shaker with a scoop of protein for your post-workout, a banana. Just make sure that you have a bag that's big enough. If you're gonna vacation, you wanna make sure that you have something that's small enough that can be a carry-on for overhead storage. For me, I have chosen today this backpack because I'm gonna be riding my Harley to my workout. So I need to have my stuff on my back so I can ride to my workout.